With the conclusion of the Yonex All England Open, badminton's oldest competition racked up another successful edition, making it a remarkable number 108. A tournament steeped in history, it was fitting we also took our cameras to the National Badminton Museum in Milton Keynes and discover how it all started for the shuttle game in England. There is a, a house which is privately owned by the Duke of Beaufort, uh, it's got a big estate, um, which is called Badminton House. And the story goes, whether it's correct or not, that in um, 1860 had a party there and it started to rain so they had to go indoors. They went into the, um, the big hall and they put a string across from the fireplace to the door and there was, they picked up some of the these battle doors that the, the girls had been playing with and hit it, hit, hit it around. That, that's the, and that's where the name, we, we absolutely certain I think that that's where the name comes from. Because where would it come from anywhere else but Badminton? And there's this village, Badminton, yeah. They played with um, these battle doors, and the, the, they're the rackets um, with vellum on, and then you, they had uh, shuttles which were, were fairly large, uh, you can see from pictures down here. You know, they used to, I mean, the, the idea was to keep the shuttle in the air as long as possible, not you know, hitting it at each other, it was uh, just to keep it up. It had probably been there about a hundred years, and uh, it's a sort of halfway house, as we call it. So it's got vellum on one side, and instead of having it on, they've got strings. So it's an advance, and then of course you come onto these uh, sort of wooden rackets. Now these are what we call what we call presses, which keep the rackets straight, because the wooden ones with the tension in the strings tend to warp and they, they come over like that. This one is, is more usual. I had one, I remember, the first one I played with, and I had it for about two years. This one is rather special. Well, it was made in about 1899. And it's what we call a barrel shuttle, because it looks like a barrel. And it was that type of shuttle that was used in the very first All England. You can see the development along here, all sorts of different ones. That one is 1910. The first All England was played, in fact, at the London, London Scottish Regiment Drill Hall. It wasn't called the All England, it was, um, I think it was called the Bambiton Association Tournament, but it eventually came, in, I think it was 1901 or 1902, it became the All England. This is what Bambiton players looked like in the uh, 1900, early 1900s. Uh, long skirts, we say they couldn't have moved, but if you look at some photographs down here, they're actually jumping off the ground to play. So, yes, they did move a bit more. And this is the, uh, the gentleman's play in long trousers. Uh, that's an England blazer. It's quite the thing in the early 1900s to, for the internationals to wear blazers. They've all gone now. They don't have those. They have uh, tracksuits.